Hello, this is Tanvir here from Coinal Technology Solutions LLP Bangalore. I am going to give a brief introduction about MIO board that is LPC1788 MIO board. So when you buy this package, you will get an adapter that is a 7.5 volt 1 ampere adapter. On LCD that is a 128 cross 64 pixels monochrome LCD uh, MIO board and one uh, USB cable that is USB A to B. The controller used here is LPC1788 Cortex M3 from NXP and this is a 12 megahertz crystal to clock this controller and this is 32.768 kilohertz crystal for RTC and uh, there are two RAM ICs used those are uh, SD RAM each one of is 256 megabits and total it's 512 megabits and uh, there is a power section here you can plug this adapter here and uh, turn on the switch to power this board and you can power this board only through adapter you cannot use USB for that so this section will give you the output of 5 volt as well as 3.3 volt you can take this output uh, that is 5 volt here and 3.3 volt here even those our uh, signal is voltage is connected to all over the board also and uh, here is a JTAG and a SWD connector so this is 1.27mm uh, 10 pin connector is uh, used for uh, SWD as well as JTAG and this is 20 pin connector that is 2.54mm 20 pin connector that is a standard JTAG connector so you can use uh, U-Link uh, or J-Link or Coinal USB JTAG or Coinal uh, Colic EX JTAG or uh, SWD uh, to debug or program this board and there is a this one is a CAM connector so that is a DB9 male so there is a CAM transceiver here for uh, used for CAM connectivity ok then uh, this connector is used for uh, graphical LCD that is this LCD can be connected here and you can use it or else you can take this pinouts and you can use it for uh, general purpose input output and there is a SD card connector so that is uh, you can insert a micro SD card in this and the protocol used is MCI and there is a reset switch here and then when you press this switch uh, the controller will reset and uh, there is a USB B connector and USB A that is host and this is device so these two are connected to USB 1 and this is USB 2 actually so uh, USB 1 is shared by these two connectors and you can switch to either of this by this jumpers so in this configuration of jumpers that is these two here and this one is here so you can switch to USB host USB 1 host and if you want to use this USB device only you need to change this jumper this side ok now this jumper is not corresponding to this USB device only for a host so using this configuration you can use USB device and this is a USB host 2 that is USB 2 host uh, there is no jumper selection uh, to use this USB host it's directly connected and uh, this one is PS2 connector you can connect a standard uh, keyboard uh, to this connector and you can select that by using this jumper so if that jumper is this side so you can use this uh, PS2 that's basically an interrupt line connected here so if you connect this jumper here you can use a touch screen from this uh, uh, TFT connector so I'll explain about that later so there is uh, two more input switches for uh, general input and this whole section is uh, corresponds to uh, 
LAN that is Ethernet connectivity you can insert a RJ45 here and you can use it in your application and there is a ISP switch also uh, you can enter into ISP mode by this and uh, there are uh, GPIOs here general purpose uh, input outputs or else uh, it's also a special purpose uh, input output system that is you know I2C0 lines and these are uh, ADC lines and these are SPI0 lines and there is an audio jack that is a 3.5 mm audio jack is given here and that is actually amplified version of uh, DAC output so that is a audio amplifier here so this amplified audio output is connected to this audio jack and you can take that amplified output from here and if you don't want to use the amplified signal you can remove this jumper and you can take that DAC output here here itself and uh, this is UR2 and this is UR0 so these two are uh, used for serial communication that's RS232 and uh, and you can program into you know using ISP mode by this UART0 also and the corresponding uh, TTL outputs also are given here and uh, this pins are used for general purpose input output and also there is a 2032 uh, battery cell connector so it's used for uh, you know RTC for you know backup actually so there is one more jumper here that is basically uh, you can switch between a buzzer as well as a led so if in this configuration you can use buzzer and if it changes you can use a led okay this 40 pin connector is used for uh, tft that is 24 bit data lines are used as well as SPI line and uh, I2C lines are used so you can use a TFT as well as touchscreen for them um, by using this connector and there is a analog input that is ADC port is given here by just rotating it you can vary the analog input voltage from 0 to 3.3 that is connected to controller and uh, you can use it for uh, you know as a analog input and uh, that's all about uh, MIO board thank you for watching bye bye